if you're a corporate employee, definitely you have this problem. And the problem is, I work for 12 hours a day. I don't get any time for improving my communication skill. Well, how to work on this? Understand, the problem is, there are many employees, corporate employees I have seen that they are working for 12, 14 hours a day, but they don't have any time to work on their communication skills. If this is your problem, then this video is for you. This video is for you. I'll give you the best solution to overcome this problem. Dear friends, see what happens. Most of us have this uh, kind of story. You finish your college, you get your placements, and you join the company. Once you join a company, you start working there, you work hard, 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 very hard. You work for 12 hours, 14 hours a day. Clients are there, boss is there, deadlines are there, meetings are there, your friends are there, colleagues are there. You have to submit the reports. You do that, you work diligently. But a time comes when you get promoted a bit or when there are foreign clients or when you have to call the customers and the problem starts. You aren't able to communicate properly. You get stuck fear, nervousness. You make mistake while speaking with your boss, while giving a presentation. Your colleagues point out that mistake. You aren't able to take the foreign clients. Problem starts. And now the company will say, hello, sorry, your communication is weak. So please work on this. We will give you two months. And in two months, how you're going to work on your communication skills? Is it possible? What happened here, understand? You made a mistake, not the organization. And there are two things, two mistakes usually we do. First thing, if you work for the organization, you will make a living. But if you work on yourself, you will make a fortune. Listen to me, what I'm saying. Listen, listen, listen. If you work for the organization, you will make a living. You will just survive. But if you work on yourself, you will make a living. No, you will make a fortune. You will be successful. And that is what we don't understand. That is what most of us do. 95% people I have seen, they come to my organization, my institute. I want to work on my communication, my fluency. But they say, I don't have time. So when to get time? I mean, I leave my home at 8 o'clock, come at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock sometimes. Even Sundays I have to work. They come home with their office work. How it's possible? The mistake is you are only working for the organization. You're not working on you. And one day your organization will say, goodbye, we have someone else who is more fluent, more smart, more younger than you. Goodbye, see you. All the hard work which you have put for the organization is gone because organization wants good technical and but good communication skill as well. So you have to change the mindset and adopt a new mindset. Work for the organization definitely, but work on yourself also. And this takes us to the second attitude, second mindset problem we have is once we finish our academics, once we finish our college, once we get the certificate, we think it's over, it's done, I don't need to work on myself. We think that only technical skills are sufficient and I don't need to learn. You have done the biggest mistake, you have to change that. If you stop learning, you start falling. Understand, if you stop learning, you start falling. You have to adapt this new attitude of learning Continuously, can I? Continuous and never ending improvement. It's like a Kaizen concept. Kaizen, get better every day. And once you join the organization, if you are, even if you are a fresher, do not stop learning. Never ever stop learning. Never ever. And if you do that, I'm telling you, dear friends, this problem of time management will perish. Now, now let us come back to the important point now. These are the two mindsets. First mindset, work on yourself also. Work for the organization also, but work on yourself also. You will make a fortune. And second thing, adapt this new mindset of continuous and never ending improvement. But now the time. How to work with the time, I'll tell you. So you understand, most of us don't know that we are wasting time, not in hours, but in minutes or seconds. Like going for coffee breaks, more than necessary, uh, the water cooler talk or talking with the colleague in the passage or just staring out of the window or just while traveling in the bus or in your metro listening to music. These are the times which you waste. In fact, you say that I'm busy, but you are not busy. You don't do your time audit. Have you done your time audit in your office? If you go in office, the time you take to travel, how much time you take to travel? To and fro, I'm sure at least 1.5 hours, at least, what do you do in that time? 
well, I sleep when I travel in metro or bus or I just listen to music. Stop that and replace that with a podcast or a good audiobook. First change. Second change. When you go to office, in your bag, there must be a tiffin, water bottle and two more books. One is notebook for vocabulary. Another is a good book to read. Whenever in the lunch break, you get two minutes, even two minutes, sufficient Open the page. Read one page. Sufficient. Don't say that, oh, I'll get half an hour. No, you will never get half an hour in office. Ha! Huh. During lunch break, I'm not talking about during office hours. During office hours, work when you work. During lunch break, when you have that 45 minutes or 30 minutes of window open, finish your lunch. Many of my students told me that they are adapting this. They finish their lunch in 15 minutes and the remaining 15 minutes they read. Do this change. Continuous and never-ending improvement. Small changes, no big change. Small change you do. Small change of reading you do. Vocabulary revision. If you have a tea break at 4 o'clock, for example, along with tea, revise your vocabulary notebook. Your friends will be not happy with this. They will say, what you're doing, man? And they will come. Some are there in office who will come and suck your time. They will just sit in front of your decks and just waste. Don't let that happen. Get Get back to work. Get back to work. Work on your communication skills. When you're coming back from your office to home, what do you do? Listen to music? No. Listen to a nice podcast. A funny podcast sometimes. It's okay. An inspirational podcast. A motivational podcast. Listen to a podcast. Listen to an audiobook. Getting it? These are the times which you waste actually. And once you do your time audit, you will realize that you are wasting one to two hours checking your WhatsApp messages, checking the notifications. Stop doing that. Replace that with reading. Replace that with vocabulary revision. Replace that with listening a podcast. And most important in your office, find a friend who is there to help you to speak. Speak with your friend. Five minutes, fine. Ten minutes, fine. Do that and see the change in your confidence. And last and most important thing, when your boss tells you go on the stage, go and Deliver a talk. Give the presentation. Let it be wrong. Come on, people are going to comment. Let them comment. Stop this. And focus on your communication. Focus on your improvement. No one can stop you. And after two years, three years, four years, when your communication will get better, they will offer you promotion. They will offer you the raise. They will tell you to go offshore. And then you will be an asset. What I said work for the organization but work on yourself also because if you work for the organization only you will make a living but if you work on yourself you will make a fortune dear friends this is the mantra for developing your communication skill in office so next time please don't give excuse i don't have time don't give excuse it's a lame excuse office is important and communication is equally important we are going to do both the things my best wishes hope you're going to implement all these things bye thank you 